Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice square root math simplification problem. Square root of 15 plus the square root of 21 plus the square root of 25 plus the square root of 35 divided by square root of 3 plus the square root of 7 plus the square root of 20. First of all, we suppose that this expression is equal to x. x is equal to this square root of 15 can be written as square root of 3 times 5 plus this square root of 21 can be written as square root of 3 times 7 plus this square root of 25 can be written as square root of 5 times 5 plus this square root of 35 can be written as square root of 5 times 7 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 7 plus this square root of 20 can be written as square root of 4 times 5. Next, x is equal to this square root of 3 times 5 can be written as square root of 3 times square root of 5 plus this square root of 3 times 7 can be written as square root of 3 times square root of 7 plus this square root of 5 times 5 can be written as square root of 5 times square root of 5 plus this square root of 5 times 7 can be written as square root of 5 times square root of 7 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 7 plus this square root of 4 times 5 will become square root of 4 times square root of 5. Next, x is equal to from these two terms uh, we can factor out square root of 3. Square root of 3 as a common factor and in bracket left square root of 5 plus square root of 7. Plus uh, from these two terms uh, we can factor out square root of 5. Square root of 5 as a common factor and in bracket left square root of 5 plus square root of 7 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 7 plus this square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 5. Next x is equal to now from these two terms uh, we can factor out this uh, square root of 5 plus uh, square root of 7 square root of 5 plus uh, square root of 7 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left uh, this uh, square root of 3 and this uh, square root of 5 in bracket left uh, square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 5 divided by this is square root of 3 square root of 3. Now this is 2 times the square root of 5 2 times square root of 5 is equal to square root of 5 plus square root of 5. So we write this 2 times square root of 5 as plus 1 times square root of 5 plus 1 times square root of 5. 5 plus this square root of 7. Now because in the numerator we have one term and in the denominator we have two terms. So we take a reciprocal on both sides. So 1 over x will be equal to this denominator will become numerator like this square root of 3 plus square root of 5 plus 
square root of 5 plus uh, square root of 7 divided by this uh, numerator becomes uh, denominator square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 5 times square root of 5 plus uh, square root of 7. Now, we suppose that uh, this expression square root of 3 plus square root of 5 is equal to a and this uh, square root of 5 plus uh, square root of 7 is equal to b. Let a is equal to square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 5 and b is equal to square root of 5 plus uh, square root of 7. Then this equation will become 1 over x is equal to a plus b divided by a times b. Now, this a plus b over a b can be written as a over a b plus b over a b and this a will be cancelled out with this a and here we are left with 1 this b will be cancelled out with this b and here we are left with 1. So, 1 over x will be equal to 1 divided by b plus 1 divided by a. Now, we replace uh, this b with this uh, square root of 5 plus square root of 7 and we replace this a with this uh, square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 5. Then this equation will become 1 over x is equal to 1 divided by this the square root of 5 plus the square root of 7 is same as square root of 7 plus the square root of 5. And to rationalize this denominator, we multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate of this square root of 7 plus the square root of 5. The conjugate is square root of 7 minus square root of 5 divided by square root of 7 minus square root of 5 plus 1 divided by this square root of 3 plus square root of 5 is same as square root of 5 plus square root of 3. And to rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate. The conjugate is square root of 5 minus square root of 3 divided by square root of 5 minus square root of 3. Next, 1 divided by x is equal to this uh, one time this expression is uh, square root of 7 minus square root of 5 divided by by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This uh, square root of 7 plus square root of 5 times the square root of 7 minus square root of 5 will become square root of 7 squared minus square root of 5 squared plus uh, one time this expression square root of 5 minus square root of 3 divided by by using this identity this uh, square root of 5 plus square root of 3 times uh, square root of 5 minus square root of 3 will become square root of 5 squared minus square root of 3 squared. Next 1 over x is equal to this uh, square root of 7 minus square root of 5 divided by this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and 7 minus 5 is 2 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 3 divided by this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this square will be cancelled out with this square root and 5 minus 3 is 2. Next 1 over x is equal to we write the common denominator 2 
and this is square root of 7 minus square root of 5 will come here square root of 7 minus square root of 5 plus uh, this is square root of 5 minus square root of 3 square root of 5 minus square root of 3 next 1 over x is equal to this uh, negative square root of 5 will be cancelled out with this positive square root of 5 and here we are left with the square root of 7 minus square root of 3 divided by 2. Now to find the value of x we take a reciprocal on both sides. This 1 over x will become x is equal to this denominator 2 will become numerator divided by this square root of 7 minus square root of 3. And to rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate of this expression. The conjugate is square root of 7 plus square root of 3 divided by square root of 7 plus square root of 3. Next, x is equal to 2 times this expression square root of 7 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by this uh, square root of 7 minus square root of 3 times uh, square root of 7 plus uh, square root of 3 will become square root of 7 squared minus square root of 3 squared. Next, x is equal to 2 times uh, square root of 7 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this 7 minus 3 will become 4. Now this 2 1 time and 2 2 times 4. So we get the final value of x is equal to square root of 7 plus square root of 3 divided by 2 this is the simplest form this is the final answer of this problem